What's going on YouTube? It's EJ4V back with another video. As you guys see from the title and thumbnail, this video is going to be Building for Beginners in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4. This video is going to be a how to build tutorial. I'm going to show all the moves in full speed, then I'll break down how to do each move. Make sure to watch the whole video and don't skip through it so you can learn how to build in Fortnite. One last thing, when you're practicing these moves on your own, make sure to practice both sides, the left and the right. It will make you better at building. That was a 90. How you do a 90 is first off, you want to start off on a ramp, floor, two walls. You're going to go to the top of the ramp. Always place the walls first. So top of the ramp, two walls, jump, floor stair and then you can speed it up top of the ramp two walls floor stair and then you can just speed it up and then you can pretty much keep going up that was an infinite 90 People do infinite 90s because if you try to regular 90 all the way to the sky consistently, the game actually won't let you do regular 90s all the way to the sky because in Fortnite there's something called jump fatigue and with regular 90s you have to keep jumping. So if you keep jumping and jumping, the game just won't let you jump anymore. So you won't be able to do 90s all the way to the sky. So there's something called infinite 90s that I just showed you and that's how you 90 all the way to the sky because you don't actually have to jump. But as you see, infinite 90s are not very protective at all. Those are both regular 90s in the back, and this is infinite 90s. I could just shoot out the stair, and I'm going to fall down. But with regular 90s, as you see, it's way more protective. I got to shoot out like two walls, a floor, and a stair. And by the time I shoot out the stair, the person will already know, and they'll be at the top of the 90s, and they'll just have their AR out and just gun me down. So what you can do instead of infinite 90ing all the way to the sky, because obviously infinite 90ing all the way to the sky probably isn't the smartest thing to do because you're only held up by one ramp. It's really unprotective. So what you could do instead is two regular 90s, throw in an infinite 90, two more regular 90s, and throw in an infinite 90. And you could just keep doing that. So two regular 90s, and then throw in an infinite 90. And what that does is it cancels out the jump fatigue. Because you start to get jump fatigue after your third to fourth jump on your regular 90s. So if you do two regular 90s for protection, then throw in an infinite 90, you basically reset your jump fatigue. So when you go to jump again, it's going to be like you never jumped. So how you do infinite 90s is you want to start off on a ramp. You want to run to the top left of the ramp and you want to place a floor and another ramp. But you want to do it while running like, like this. You want to keep your momentum. So you got to get the timing good. But... After you place that ramp, just run to the top left of the ramp, floor ramp, continue running, floor ramp, floor ramp, floor ramp. It's not that hard. All the 90s I just showed you are the easiest way to get height. That was a clicks ramp. Clicks ramps are very similar to infinite 90s, but clicks ramps are used for when you're pushing an opponent, like straight on, like a build fight. So how to do the clicks ramp is first you're going to start off on the stair, then you're going to extend the stair. In order for this move to work, you always have to be in a situation like this, where you have a stair below you and a stair in front of you extended. Now you're going to run to either the top left or the top right of the stair, it doesn't matter. And you're going to place a floor and a ramp. Then you're going to run to the top of this ramp. And you're going to run, jump, place a wall, a floor, and then a stair. Like this. And as soon as you place that stair, if you want to continue doing this move, you're going to extend another ramp. Go to the top of the ramp. Floor, stair. Run to the top. Wall, floor, stair. And then one more time. Extend the ramp. Run to the top. Floor, stair. Run to the top. Wall, floor, stair. And that's it. That's a clicks jump. Then you can combine the 90s the infinite 90s and the clicks ramp. So you can do two 90s, an infinite 90, two more regular 90s, an infinite 90, then you could extend a ramp, floor ramp, run to the top, then do your clicks ramp, and you can either do another one, so extend the ramp, floor ramp, run to the top, wall, floor, stair, 
And that's a nice little one-on-one -on -one start for build fights or for zone wars. That was a Thrifle Cone. How you do a Thrifle Cone is you want to start off on a ramp. Place a wall to your right. A wall on top of that wall. A wall behind you. And a cone. And it's going to look something like this. So stair. Wall. 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 Cone. You want to place the walls first. And as soon as you're done swinging the walls all around. Then you place the cone. So like that. The cone is the last thing you place. Then you'll turn around if you want to do it again. Same thing. Stair. Wall. 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 Cone. All in one motion. Like that. This move is used if you're trying to build up to an opponent, but they're on height and you don't want to get shot because they're looking down at you, shooting at you. So you'll do one or two thrifle cones so you can continue building up to them. Without taking damage. That was a side jump just to go up one layer. So how you do the side jump just to go up one layer is you want to start off on a ramp. You're going to place a cone. I'm going to show you guys first and then I'm going to explain how to do it. So you want to do this. So basically, don't hit your head on the cone. You're going to run and jump. You're going to side jump and run to the front of this cone. You see this cone? You want to run like you see I'm at the edge of the cone. So you want to run and jump over here. So you want to run forward. And then what you want to do is you want to swing walls. As you saw, I placed a wall right here and a wall right here to protect myself. Then I landed on a floor and then I placed a stair behind me. So I'm going to show you guys again. So cone. You're going to run and jump forward to the front of this cone. First things first, you're going to place a wall right here and a wall in front of you. Catch yourself on a floor and then place a stair. So like this. So walls, floor, and the last thing you place is the stair behind you. So if someone's on high or someone's behind you, they can't shoot you. So how you do that move the advanced way is you start off on a stair, a cone, and before you actually side jump, you place two walls right here just for extra protection so you don't get shot. After you place those two walls, then you run and do the same side jump. But you have the walls here before you even side jump, so that will prevent you from getting shot. That was a side jump with high walls. So how you do the side jump with high walls is you want to start off on a ramp, put a cone, two walls. I know in the last side jump I said the two walls right here are for the advanced way, but for this side jump, this actually makes it easier. Because all you're going to do is you're going to run, jump 180. So that you're going to run, jump towards the middle, 180. So turn around here when you're in the sky. And you're going to place a wall on top of this wall. And then you're going to place two walls next to it, towards the right. So look, I'm going to show you guys. So run, jump towards the middle, place a wall on top of this wall right here. And then two walls next to it. So it's going to look like this. And you're going to land on the floor. One more time. A stair, cone, two walls. You're going to run, jump, place a wall on top of this wall. And the two walls right here. So like this. That side jump is good. So if someone's on height, they can't shoot you because you have these high walls to protect you. You see, you're all the way down here, but you have walls up here. So they can't really get an angle on you to shoot you. And also the side jump is good. So if you jump on a stair, put a stair above you, you could actually get peace control on your opponent. So if they end up going in front of this wall, you already placed this wall when you were side jumping. So you could easily box them. I don't have a name for this side jump, but I love this side jump because you could go up so many layers without editing no builds. So how you do the side jump is you want to start off on a stair, put a cone, two walls, and you want to do an elevated side jump. An elevated side jump is when you land on a stair. So you want to land towards this part of the wall where my crosshair placement is, this right part of the wall. So you're going to run and jump, but you want to stay looking over here and you're going to place the stair. The stair is going to place like this. So I'm saying the land over here. So you can land at the bottom of the stair right here. And that'll be elevated side jump. So the two walls, run, jump. And what you're going to do is you're going to place a wall first, the floor, the ramp, and the cone last. So it's going to look something like this. But you want to land on top of the stair. That's my bad. But then you want to do two walls like that and do some high walls. So once again, stair, cone, two walls. You're going to run, jump, land over here. Wall first, floor, stair, and then cone. So like that, two walls, 
and then a high wall. You will never get shot doing that move. That was a 180 elevated side jump. So how you do the 180 elevated side jump is you want to start off on a stair, place a cone, two walls, and then you're going to want a side jump. You're going to run and jump into an elevated side jump, so you're going to land on the stair. You want to land on a floor and a stair. So you want to run and jump, but run and jump towards the middle of this wall. So the middle of this wall right here, run and jump, don't hit your head on the cone, and you're going to land on a floor and a stair. Like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do a 180. So you're going to go to the top of this ramp, turn around, wall, and then stare. And then when you get faster, it'll look something like this. I like doing that move because it elevates me. This is the last side jump, but this side jump is the same as the first side jump. You're just adding high walls. So you want to start off on a stair, place a cone, two walls. And what you want to do is you're going to run and jump. And you want to place a wall on top of this wall. And then two walls, one wall right there and a wall above that wall. You already know just like the high walls I already taught you. But then after you're going to swing down and you're going to go on a floor. And then you're going to place a stair behind you. So it's going to look something like this. This side jump is to confuse your opponents and stay unpredictable. You have your stair behind you for protection. You don't need those high walls, but when you place those high walls, your opponent is going to think you're going to edit through them or you're going to be behind them, but you're not even going to use them because you have this stair behind you for protection. So you can edit through this wall, you could go out to the side, and then you might be able to get a shot on them because they're going to think that you're behind these walls. So once again, stair, cone, two walls, high walls, land on the floor, place the stair behind you. And then you can either go through these walls or go out through here. You're not using those high walls and you're going to stay unpredictable. That's the face sway move or the face sway tunnel. How you do the face sway move is you want to start off on a ramp, place a wall right here, a wall right here, a wall above that wall, a wall above the first wall. Then you're going to finish with a stair. So the motion is like this. So remember, you're going to place this there first. This is the first wall, second wall, swing those walls. And as soon as you place this last wall, you're going to finish with the ramp. So with this move, you could tunnel. You could tunnel on this side, or you could tunnel on the other side, or you could do the most protective tunnel in the game and protect both sides. So like this. Or you could be annoying and you could 90 with this move. You keep doing this move and continue going up and you won't get hit because this is one of the most protective moves in the game. That's why Face Sway himself created and still uses this move to this day. So how you do the Face Sway move while 90 with it? You just edit through the wall, place a wall right here, land on the stair, and I go like that. So place a wall right here, a wall right here. And a stair above you and you do it really quick so you can't get shot so edit out wall stair that motion right there wall wall ramp so like that that's how you 90 with the face sway move one more time you edit through the wall you jump wall ramp wall wall ramp I figured this move out by myself. I'm not saying I created this move, but I figured this move out by myself. So how you want to do this move is you want to start off with the face sway move or the face sway tunnel. So do the face sway move, run to the top of this ramp, place a cone. And I'm going to tell you what builds to place, but don't place these builds until after you ran and jump like this. Because if you try to place the builds before you actually jump, you're going to place a wall right here and you're going to hit the wall and you're going to mess everything up. So what you want to do is you want to run, jump after you place the cone and do another face sway move. You want to place the first wall right here to connect yourself so you don't fall. And it's going to look something like this. And let's do it one more time. It's hard to do it slow because if not, I'm going to fall down, but just follow along. So face sway move, cone up top, run, jump and do another face sway move. So like that, wall, 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 land on a ramp and place a ramp above you. Last second. So once again, cone up top, face sway move. 
It's that simple. The next build move I'm a teacher. We're gonna add on to the last move I just showed ya. The face sway move, cone up top, and go like that. So first things first, do a face sway move, cone up top like I just taught y'all. Go like this. But then what you wanna do? Run to the top of this ramp, place another cone. You're gonna run, and you're gonna place walls like this. I like to call this move the suey, because when you place this cone up top, you're gonna run, jump, place the walls first. And last second, you're gonna place the stair below you and above you, like this. So you're gonna place the walls first, then the stairs. And you're literally running and jumping without nothing below you, so it's like a suey. So look, one more time. Cone up top, run, suey, boom. So you're gonna do the face sway move, cone up top. You're gonna do another face sway move like that. Then cone up top, and you're gonna suey, like that. Place the walls, two walls down here, two walls up here. Stair below you and just flick up. You can place a stair above you. It's very easy to place a stair above you. You just flick up like that. You don't got to look all the way up. Just flick up. This move is a cone with four walls. This move is used so when you're building towards someone in a build fight. So when you're like this, building towards each other, you'll place a cone, your four walls for peace control, and so they can't block you off. And then you can edit through. So how you do that move, it's pretty easy. Just start off on the ramp, put a cone, and place four walls like that. Wall, 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 and edit through. Or you can do the other side. Like if you want to stay on this side, you can place a cone, stair, four walls like that. And then you can edit through. This is for the max protection and so no one could just place a wall because if someone sees you building up to them, right? Like editing cones like this. All they could do is just place a wall right here, edit and take a shot. So this is just to prevent that. And so you can actually get peace control. You can edit through the cone, edit through the wall, place a cone up top, take a shot, reset, you get the point. I created this move by myself. I use this move in a build fight when I'm trying to go up a few layers while staying protective. I also use this move two times at a piece. Meaning I'll never spam it. I won't go three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. I may go once, but I usually use it twice. So one, two, then I do another move. So how you do the move is you're gonna wanna start off on a ramp, place a cone, four walls, edit the cone like this. If you're doing it on the left side, edit the cone like this. I'm doing it on the right side, so I'm gonna edit the cone like this. Edit the wall like that. Put a floor when you get to the top of the ramp. Drag the floor over here. Stair, cone, four walls. Edit the cone like that, edit the wall, floor last second, floor, stair, cone. Then at this point, I would do another move. So that's the full version of the move. How you do the full version of the move is you're going to do that move twice that I just showed you. This move right here. One. Two, and when you get here, you're gonna edit the cone, edit the wall, place a floor, place a floor, stair, cone. But instead of doing that move again, after doing it twice, you're gonna place two walls right here, and you're gonna side jump with high walls. That's another move I created by myself, and I have a lot of success with that move. It's a stair, a floor, you edit the floor, and then you put high walls. So how you do that move is you want to start off on a stair. So put a stair, put a floor, you're going to edit the floor like that. Make sure you edit the floor when you're on top of the ramp. The whole point of this move is to have protection with these high walls. So you don't want to edit the floor when you're down here, because they're going to shoot you before you can even get those high walls up. So hold the edit until you get to the top of the ramp and then add the high walls. How you wanna do it is just hold the edit when you get here, place this wall first, this wall second, and then those walls will come. So it looks something like this. It's the easiest move you could do, but it's the most efficient. That move is one of the best moves to start a fight off with because you're getting those high walls, so you're getting that peace control and that protection.
That move is for people who can't do triple or quad edits yet, but still want to look cracked. So how you do that move is you're going to start off on a ramp, place a ramp, a cone, and a floor. You're going to make this edit right here, the right two tiles. If you're doing it on the left side, make this edit, the left two tiles, but we're doing it on the right side, so the right two tiles, make the same edit on the pyramid, the right two tiles, you're going to place a cone, you're going to run, jump, place a wall, a ramp to catch yourself, and you're going to finish the move off with a floor up top. So like that. And then you're going to spam that move. So make those same two edits, cone, run, jump like that. And you can either keep doing it to the right side, so you can keep going like this to the right, or you could do it to the right once, then do it to the left, then do it to the right again, then do it to the left, so you could keep switching sides. That move is also very good for learning new binds or learning a new input. That move is very basic, but it picks you up a lot of kills, and I don't see a lot of y'all using this move. So how you do this move is you're going to start off on a ramp. You're going to place a floor and a wall. You're going to flip the ramp, and you're going to edit a window. And if they're in front of you, you're going to take a shot and then reset the wall. You could also make a window and full box in front of you. But with my experience, when you place this wall over here, usually they're like triple editing or something and they won't think that you have the wall so when you get that window edit and you take a shot it's going to be the most freest kill you're going to pop them to the face and they're going to be totally unexpected and they're not going to be expecting that i've gotten the most freest kills in my pathetic life using that move That move is the day move, and also a lot of other token players use that move. This move is probably the most advanced move I showed you today, that's why it's at the end of the video, but it's also one of the most protective. So how you do that move is you're going to start off on a ramp, you're going to triple edit, then you're going to place a ramp, you're going to 180, place another ramp, cone, you're going to place four walls like this, wall, 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 ramp, ramp. You're gonna edit a window, place a cone, floor, 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 ramp, wall, edit the wall into a peanut butter edit, and place walls like that for a full box. If he's not in the box, then obviously don't make this peanut butter edit. Just continue with the move. Like when you're here, just do another move or something. So that's the advanced version of the day move. So how you do that move is you're going to start off on a ramp. You're going to triple edit. Place a ramp. 180. Ramp on top of the wall. Cone. You're going to edit the cone like that. And you're going to do this move right there. What you do after is up to you. But you want to make sure you place these four walls. This ramp below you and ramp above you. And editing the cone like that serves as extra protection. So you won't get shot while doing this move. That's it for me. That's the video that's building for beginners in Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something new, make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to turn on post notifications so you never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching. Peace.